Hey y'all, it's Zach from Meals Under Pressure. Um, all right, here in North Florida, the temperatures have dropped to about 79 degrees, so we're starting to think soup. Um, so I had some of these tortellinis on hand, so I thought, well, there's gotta be a soup recipe with these. So I went online and I found one uh, using some, some Italian sausage, looked really good. So I kind of tweaked it for the, for the Instant Pot. So I think you'll like it. So what I've got here is I've got a little bag of these frozen cheese tortellinis. I've got some Italian sausage that's in the casing. I'm gonna cut that out of the casing and use. Um, I've got some chicken stock. I've got two cans of fire roasted diced tomatoes because I couldn't find a 28 ounce can. And I've got a regular uh, eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Uh, I've got a medium, or not actually, that's actually a large onion, white onion. I'm only gonna use about half of it because it's kind of big. I'm gonna dice it up. I've got a stalk of celery. I'm gonna use a few cloves of garlic and some Italian seasoning. So this is gonna be my soup. So what I've got to do now is I've got to hit, go ahead. I'm gonna cut the uh, cut the casings, the meat out of the cases for my sausage. Put it in here and start browning it. And then I'm gonna dice up these and put those in there as well. So let me get to doing that. We'll be back. All right. So we've got the sausages cut out of the casings. I added them in there. Turn the saute function on. I didn't use any oil because uh, there's enough fat in there that'll that'll break down. So once I got them broken up in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions and my celery. And I'm gonna cook those with the sausage until the sausage browns. And then about a minute, when I have a minute left, I'll add the garlic. All right, so we'll get that all cooked down. And we'll be back. All right, so we've been browning the sausage for about maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. Good brown those onions and celery are broke down in there. All right, so now I'm gonna take my garlic. I'm gonna put my garlic in there. You don't want to put it in at the beginning because it cooks real easy. You don't want it to get bitter. It cooks fast. So I'm just gonna stir around in there for just a couple of minutes. I'm oh, sorry, not a couple of minutes. For about maybe 30 seconds. For <laughs> about two sips of my beer. All right, so now we're gonna hit the cancel button, and I'm gonna take four cups of chicken stock. Or if you need, if you have broth, you can use chicken broth. All right, I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna scrape up anything off the bottom that's stuck. All right, let me pause a minute because I gotta get out my tortellini. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got my bag of these uh, frozen cheese tortellinis. Those are going in there. Make sure they get good and wet. All the pasta needs to be wet. Okay, now I've got my fire roasted diced tomatoes. Undrained. They're going in there. Okay, now I've got my little can, eight ounce can of tomato sauce. That's in there. I got a little bit on my hands. All right, I've got a teaspoon and a half of Italian seasoning. That's in there. Give it a good stir. Mix it all up. All right. Grab my lid, put it in seal position. And bring it out to three minutes. We'll be back. All right, so I did three minutes under pressure and then a quick release, and this is what we got, folks. That pasta turned out so tender. Uh, really good soup. I topped it with some shaved Parmesan. A really easy way to use it with some tortellinis. Um, so, all right, if you like my videos, I've got more under my Facebook group page and my uh, YouTube channel called Meals Under Pressure. So, see us there. All right, we'll see you all next time.